Hello everybody, my name is Anatoly and today we're watching South Park Human Centipede. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god, isn't it awesome having an iPad, you guys? Hey yeah. baby, where's your iPad? Oh right, you're not cool enough. <laughs> hey, hey, you see my uh. iPad token? It's funny, you don't seem to have one. I thought your family was rich. How many seconds? 10 seconds and Carbon is already a dick. Not the fastest one, of course, but quite good, to be honest. Yeah, this is 2011 when having an iPad was like having a car. Haha, <laughs> you dumbasses have to play Foursquare because you don't have iPads. Oh, what should I do on my iPad next? Think I'll email some of my friends. Oh, no, wait, maybe I'll download some more cool apps. Yeah, don't look at the contacts of your mother, Cartman. You might find people of uh, interesting professions there. Tom Salzman says you don't really have an iPad. What? Tom Saltzman says you just glued a piece of glass to an iPad cover and you're faking it. Insecurity? Tom All of a sudden? dad is an alcoholic who drinks <laughs> and drives! Good point. Let me see your iPad, Cartman. Seriously, you guys! Tom Saltzman's dad is a drunk driver! He's the one who ran over Joey Potts' dog! One. Because Joey Potts doesn't know how to take care of his animals, which is why he gets beat by his mom! Just let us see your iPad, Cartman. No, because the battery's dead and just ran out of power! So plug it in. I left my charger at home! Ah, this is where it stems from. This inner desire of shitting on other people for not possessing an Apple product. It is a mere defense mechanism. And Cartman has a lot of those. Fine! I'm gonna go home and charge my iPad and bring <laughs> it home, And you guys are gonna feel really stupid! Absolutely. Well, good going, Mom. You've completely screwed me over! What happened, Derek? You said I had to wait till my birthday to get an iPad. So the one I rubbed in everyone's faces today isn't real, and tomorrow oh, everyone's it. gonna call me a liar. Is Would this you one mind painful? loaning me some of your lipstick, Mom? Because I want to at least look pretty the next time you decide to fuck me. <laughs> you see? And you know what? She's gonna get him an iPad. I'm HAV positive about that. Leanne Cartman never changes. She has absolutely materialistically perverted Cartman to a point of no return. The only solution here is for Caesar Milan to look after Cartman forever. And then I can take all my homework on my iPad and swipe it over to my iPhone. Oh, uh, yeah, Apple stuff's pretty neat, all right. I just don't want any big company tracking where I am at all times. Ah, uh, that's just a rumor. They don't really track TikTok? me. Here he is. Hello, Kyle. We're from Apple. We're all ready for you now. What? Ready for what? Uh, to fulfill the agreement. Fast. Can we get a weight, please? 83 pounds, sir. <laughs> what agreement? What? 83 pounds. Good. Let's get the blood work. Hey, you can't do that. You agreed we can <laughs> take all the blood we needed. What are you talking about? When you downloaded the last iTunes update, a window on your screen popped up and asked you if you agreed <gasps> to our terms and conditions. <laughs> you clicked agree. Oh, no! Right, let's get into the water tank. No! What? I never read those. With all the agreements that I've signed blindly throughout my life, I think I'm giving my asshole to the Chinese government tomorrow or selling half of my left testicle to the Mexican cartel. I'm not going with you. You've agreed to all of this. Hey! I run. Get the hell out of there. You guys! You gotta help me. These business casual G-men are trying to kidnap me. What? It's crazy, dude. They're saying it's because I agreed to the latest terms and conditions on iTunes. Why? What did the terms and conditions for the last update say? I don't know. I didn't read them. You didn't read them? Who the hell reads that entire thing every time it pops up? I do. Me too. So now they're gaslighting the shit out of him. If South Park gave me a dollar every time they gaslight me, I would be flying to Epstein. You're telling me that every time you guys download an update for iTunes, you read the entire terms and conditions? Of course. Well, how do you know if you agree to something if you don't read it? <sighs> well, I turned off all my Apple stuff. They can't locate you if you don't have your stuff on, right? There he is. Hey, you! Ah! Oh, yeah, Tim Cook wants to have a discussion with you, Kyle. Dad! Dad, I need a lawyer! Kyle, what are you doing here? Dad, if you agree to something but you didn't mean to agree to it, what do you do? Well, Kyle, it's always the agreeing party's responsibility to know what they are signing. But it's like eight pages long and they send me a new one like every three weeks. How can they know if Calm I... Calm down, Kyle. It's okay. You're safe with Daddy. Here he is. <laughs> ah! I don't think I would trust the words, now you're safe with Daddy from Jared Broflowski. Only if it's not hot tub related or something. Yeah, if you want to see him come in a bathtub while watching another man jerk off, then... What the heck is going on? Your son has made a binding and legal agreement with Apple, sir. An agreement to do what? Apple's inner workings are top secret to all users. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. I use a PC. Thank you, Jerry. Come on, let's go. 
Hey, now, let him go. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you tasered my dad. You said we could. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is the extent to which they can bind the rules and they can uh, perform such actions with their agreements? Because I'm pretty sure there might be a constitution that would not allow that if you've heard of it. If I possess such a power, you would be watching this from my basement. Okay, Wi-Fi plus 3G, 64 gig. This one, this one. Oh, sweetie, $900? Uh, yeah. I can't wait to see the look on Cal's stupid face when he sees my iPad has more memory than his. Eric, we can't afford that one. Well, you don't expect me to get the Wi-Fi only 16 gig version, do you? I think we need to get you a different brand, hon. They're a little cheaper. Mom, everyone knows that everything but Apple is stupid. Here, look at this one. Yeah, Toshiba Apple users. Handybook. Toshiba Handybook? This says it does everything the iPad does at half the price. Mom, do not screw me over again! If I take that thing to school, everyone's gonna think I'm a poverty-stricken asshole! As an Android user, I feel personally attacked by this episode. I can sense a certain snobbism here. Stop acting like a spoiled brat. You can either have the Toshiba handybook, or you can have nothing at all. Why oh, is I've got a better me? idea! Rack Why more. don't you go across the street and buy some condoms? Because we should at least be safe if you're gonna f*** me, Mom! Eric, you might as well go buy some cigarettes too, because I like to have a smoke after I get good and f <laughs> you want to fuck mom, just say so. Go ahead, here. Huh? Go ahead, mom. Fuck you. Go ahead, here in the best bath. You want to fuck your son so bad? Oh. Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you a good solution for that. It's called the father method. Eric, I, I was told crying. You, you kept acting up, you weren't getting anything. But I told you I was sorry. You made me look like some sort of child molester in front of all those people. I wasn't trying to get you in trouble. Then why did you go outside to a police officer and say, help, help, my mom is trying to f*** me? <laughs> oh, wait, I get it now. The F word is a no-no word, and yeah, I can't say it around other people. I'm sorry, Mama. If you're really sorry, then you'll understand why you aren't getting anything. But let's be objective for a second. Out of every single person on this perverted planet of ours, Leanne Cartman, the one who was on the cover of the Crack Whore magazine, she's now with the moral boundaries here. All of a sudden, she has uh, standards. No, that doesn't really have any logical sense, Mommy, because I'm already being punished by not getting the iPad. Yeah. Mama, <laughs> can we go back and get the Toshiba handy book? No! Well, then could we at least pull up here and get some dinner? Because I like to be wined and dined after I've been f***ed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, apart from the fact that Kyle is being detained in a Moldovan prison cell, Cartman should write a book on manipulation for dummies. He knows every single way of milking his mother's emotions. It really feels like a game for him. He's constantly analyzing, researching new ways of manipulating his mother into buying him something or doing something for him. Welcome to Bulgaria, you friend. You agreed to the iTunes terms and conditions, too? What? I just clicked agree. I didn't read it. I was in a hurry, you see, and, and I, I, I didn't know what I was agreeing to. I can't even read English. <laughs> hey, shut up in there. You all agreed to stay quiet. Hey, hey, let me out of here. This is a mistake. I agreed by accident. You can't agree by accident. There's a fail-safe built in. Even if you click on agree, another little window pops up that says, are you sure you agree? And you have to click on agree again. Yeah, that, that, that changes absolutely everything. If, for example, you ask somebody if they want to be sold into slavery and they accidentally twice answer yes, then um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're um, my possession right now. What are you going to do to us? Everything that you agreed to in the iTunes conditions. We didn't read them. <laughs> right. Who just agrees to something they don't read? I'm getting a, I'm getting a gaslight overdose from this episode. And now, I don't the think gonna, I'm gonna make Apple, it. Steve Jobs. Wait, he was still alive. When did Mr. Jobs pass away? In about six months. Give him some time. Hello, everyone. I'm here to announce a new product that will once again revolutionize the way we use our phones and tablet devices. Let's hear it for our volunteers. Every single year. Revolution. What? <laughs> These three people have agreed to be brought here 
handcuffed to these beds and become the prototype of our first truly interface device. The first what? They have actually agreed to be surgically altered. Their lips will be removed, and they will be sewn oh! together, mouth to anus. Ah! You agree that, to this? That is why it's human centipede. That is a biblically accurate representation of how communism works. Mouth to anus, so that the feces from the gastral tract <sighs> from one will enter the mouth of the little <laughs> boy. And he agreed this was okay. Me. Enter the mouth of the little boy, leading through his anus to the mouth of the female, who completely agreed, they all agreed, which will then go uh. to a tablet device, making a product that is part human and part centipede and part <laughs> web browser and part emailing device. I give you the human centipad. Steve Jobs in this episode reminds me a lot of uh, Steven Spielberg from the Indiana Jones rape scene, yeah. Right now you think this one is a joke, it's, it's just a mere hyperbolization, but give Silicon Valley five more years and they are gonna come to you with, a, uh, with an offer that you're not gonna refuse. I should have never updated iTunes! <sighs> should have never... Uh... Never mind. You agree that Apple I give up. your credit card or PayPal account for any products purchased in the iTunes store. Can somebody please explain to me what is going on? We're trying to find out exactly what Kyle agreed to. There can't be anything in that agreement that allows a company to do what they're talking about to Kyle. Oh, no, here it is right here. By clicking agree, you are also acknowledging that Apple may sew your mouth to the butthole of another iTunes user. <laughs> oh, boy. Apple and its subsidiaries may also, if necessary, sew yet another person's mouth onto your butthole, making you a being that shares one gastral tract. Thank you, Apple subsidiaries. Very cool. I would sign something like this only if it's uh, base to mouth related. I'm going to click on decline. <laughs> well, that's just not going to the police. That, that one to second find of thinking. Out where Apple is keeping my son. Dude, when the police want to know where somebody is, they ask Apple. The only way we can fix all this is by going to the highest authority on the planet. You guys, we're going to have to ask help from the geniuses. The geniuses. The geniuses. <laughs> Who are the geniuses, ladies and gentlemen? Let's make assumptions. I think Mr. Slave and Big Gale, they must know everything about human centipedes. Mr. Slave himself, he's a recursive human centipede because of all the living beings in his asshole. Good. Looks good, guys. Great work. <laughs> really nice, guys. I remember when the first version of the iPad came out. People couldn't believe how easy it was to take their videos, music, and photos, and all their what? shit, and share it with other people who could do the same with all their shit. The only thing the iPad couldn't do was walk or read. I'm gonna... Until now. <sighs> I'm gonna thank South Park for one thing here, that the third person in this chain was not a Catholic priest or a Jewish rabbi would make more sense with Kyle in this situation. This looks like the device that Kim Jong-un uses. What, what, what's that? What's that you're saying? <laughs> you, you want out? Are you saying you want out? <laughs> Fine, you don't want to be part of this, then just sign right here. No, you didn't read it! This says we don't ever have to let you out and then we can do whatever we want! <laughs> Damn it, why won't it read? <laughs> it's probably low on power. <laughs> I didn't know that this is how the Turing test looks like. Of course, no device or robot is gonna exhibit human-like intelligent behavior when you do this to it. All right, here you go, come on. No, I will not eat if they are forced to eat on my pool. Perhaps I didn't mention it's a bean and cheese burrito from Paco's. <gasps> Sorry, Kyle! I tried to resist, but burrito is a too delicious! We have to unveil this thing tomorrow. It better be reading by then. Oh, oh no! Feel sick! I, I feel it coming. <laughs> I think this is utterly wrong. This is uh, morally unjustifable and should not be applied under any. Uh, 
to be frank, this is not the worst porn video that I've seen in my life. After that uh, kangaroo 69, I'm I'm not impressed anymore. <laughs> Dr. Today, Phil. On Dr. Phil, the tragic story of a little boy whose mother constantly tries to f*** him. <laughs> Go on, y'all meet Eric Cartman, who's a very special boy with a very hard life. Eric, you say that your mom f***s you? Yes, she f me so hard. Does this happen often? Does she, does she f*** you a lot? Dude, Filipino hookers don't get <sighs> the way I do. Oh. <sighs> now, I know this is very difficult for you to talk about, but where was the last time your mother f***ed you? At Best Buy. Oh. The way they illustrate the psychological tricks of Dr. Phil to just, uh, to just get closer to his guest. Take a good look at his posture. Your mother f***ed you at Best Buy? <laughs> uh-huh. And people saw her doing this? Yes. And they didn't do anything? No. Eric, stop it. Oh, there she is. There's my mom right now. Boo! Boo! <sighs> Eric, you come home right now. God, I hate those shows. Ma'am, why do you think it's okay to f*** your son? I don't. She does. She does it all the time. She f*** me on Christmas. She f*** me on my birthday. Oh! 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 You know, Mom, the least you could do is kiss me first, because I like to be kissed before I get f***. You f*** your son and you won't even give him a kiss? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> if I was going to f*** my son, I'd kiss him first. No! <laughs> this is the last reaction on this channel. I am officially quitting YouTube. The pure disrespect for your kid. At least give him a Polish bike ride or something. And I'd kiss him first. Well, Eric, we have a very special gift we want to give you. An iPad? Hey. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Very Cheryl cool. Raflowski. Okay, the geniuses will see us now. The... Now remember, when you speak to the geniuses, keep your questions the short and to the point. The geniuses do not like those who waste their time. Hi, my name is Leslie. I'll be your genius. Genius Leslie, we have a problem and we uh, need the you technicians? Wisdom. Those are the geniuses of our time? I don't know how it is for you, but for me, I never got an ounce of help from those f***ers. All they do is sell shit to you and they never solve anything. What problems are you experiencing? My son was kidnapped by Apple and they are holding him against his will. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're having trouble with that today. <sighs> Could I have his Apple ID? 69 chipmunks at me.com. Okay. The casual nature of this situation, ladies and gentlemen. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait. Well, what the heck does this one? Shh. Okay. I why? Why is Gerald? Gerald's son was kidnapped, and he cannot use hell. He cannot properly use what the hell. He's just using heck. For me, that does not sound like enough concern for your son that has been kidnapped and um, has his mouth on the asshole of an Asian guy. Hmm, I might need to bring another genius in on this. Frothgar? Uh-huh. Oh, the posture. This guy's son was abducted by us? Should I run a <laughs> stock check or just give him store credit? <laughs> no, I don't want store credit. I want my son back. It depends how much store okay. credit. This says he agreed to be taken and made part of any experiments Apple wants to perform. Yeah, but it's all a mistake. He actually didn't read the agreement. He didn't read it? We know. It's uh, preposterous. Yeah, absolutely preposterous. So, just give them store credit? I'm pretty sure that 9 out of 10 Apple users these days, they, they, would, they would agree to store credit. You know, the very moment you become an Apple user, you renounce morality as such. Android supremacy. So sorry, Kaido, God damn but it. I am starving. Which would you rather I eat? Should I eat a cuttlefish and asparagus or the vanilla pesto? <laughs> Cuttlefish and asparagus? <laughs> Very well, I will eat the cuttlefish. <laughs> go, go, come on, guys, come on, go. Don't Android? Worry. We're here to help you. Oh, oh thank you, thank you. Shh. Android. Come on, hurry. We have an ambulance waiting outside. Just try to stay calm. We're going to have to try and get you separated right away. Is this a setup? Please hurry. I, I think Dad, this is a setup from Apple. It's another module of the Turing test from Steve Jobs. I'm HIV positive about that. Kaiju fish and asparagus <sighs> is not a sitting well. We no, this it. is... We got it, doctor. Can you take this thing apart? If I'm going to perform surgery, I need permission. Sign this release so we can operate. Yes, yes, I'm <laughs> 
it! It didn't read it! End simulation! End the simulation! What is wrong with you people? Why can't you get the human sentai pad to read? That's why Steve Jobs died of cancer, by the way. He was trying to make his device sign the chemotherapy agreement, and you know what happened. We're sorry, sir. We really thought we could get it to read this time. <sighs> oh, no! Cutter fish is about to come out of my asshole! <laughs> oh, here it comes! You know what? I'm oh, gonna embrace going it to this time. Hold on, Kaido! I believe in you! <laughs> 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 At least this Apple device has uh, vibrations. I want to see how it looks like when somebody calls you on that one. The only drawback that I see in this situation is the fact that you cannot fit it in your pocket or shove it up your ass and feel the vibrations. And you sit there, you, you stand there, you yep. wait, and they and then type you be and die. A customer check, uh huh. Uh, yeah. Okay, that should do it. Sorry, Apple kidnapped your friend, guys, but I believe we have it all cleared up. You do? Yep, we got you a replacement friend. You should be all good to go. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, we don't want a replacement friend. We want our friend. What if the replacement friend does not agree something? I think we something. should have a quickening with all the geniuses. I'll summon the council. Okay, if you guys just wait here a sec, we're going to have a quickening with the council yeah. of geniuses. See what we can do for you. This is a perfect depiction of how it feels like. You just stand there, they type something, you stand there, they type something, you lose hope in humanity, your son gets sold into slavery. <laughs> Another reference that I'm not getting, I suppose. <laughs> you know if your friend has a Verizon or AT&T mobile number associated with his .me account? I think Verizon. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Why are they puking light the inside each other's mouths? Mac Apple users, the unveiling of the first human Sentai pad. As part of a clear PR stunt, Apple has joined up with Best Buy and Dr. Phil to yeah, the, the, the first. This PR stunt is not very. Wait, wait, Cartman is gonna get it. Ah! Cartman is finally gonna get Kyle as his slave. That was much awaited since the Civil War episode. Words cannot possibly express how much I hate you guys. Sent a pad to a needy boy who was raped by his mother. In all my years, I've never heard a more tragic story than that of Eric Cartman. Thank and you, I want to Phil. thank the Apple company for helping us make today a very special day for him. And as president of Best Buy, Eric, I want to assure you that a child will never get f***ed in one of our stores again. Again. Ask Tim Cook Phil about that. When contacted us at Apple with Eric's story, we knew we had to get on board. And so, Eric, here is your very own Human Sentai Pad. Well, kill! Oh, <laughs> The fact that he doesn't even question this, he just he just starts typing shit on the forehead of that poor Asian fella. It does email and web browsing and it shits in Kyle's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> it does email and web browsing and it shits in Kyle's mouth? That is going directly into my proverbial pantheon from South Park. Can it read? Don't worry. It took a while, but I'm pretty sure it has finally learned to read, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Eat shit, motherfucker. What the hell are they doing now? No, I'm not. Your genius is your performance control question on that. Ra. It's future stuff. All right, that's it. I've had about enough with eye crap and me clouds and a council of geniuses with all their future. It's okay, sir. The Toran Ra has revealed the answer to your problem. We can retroactively make your son's agreement invalid. Okay, finally. How do we do that? It's very easy. You'll simply need to join Apple. So that wasn't an option from the get-go. You had to esoterically come to this conclusion through all of those f***ing weird processes. I don't want to join Apple. I like my PC. But if you join, we can make your son's account into a family account, and then you have to I approve all his agreements. Come on, it's not that big a deal. We just stop resisting and join the rest of us in the future? Ugh. Well. All right, fine. When your I'll sign up with Apple. When your Coming son's in. mouth is at stake. Yeah, 
Do you agree to let Apple track your location <laughs> at all times? Apple user, is this accurate? Is this how the initialization process looks like? I was expecting a little bit more nudity, to be honest. Do you agree to give Apple access to all your personal information, including but not limited to your favorite movies, songs, and books? I agree. I the tinfoil hat. Sorry, we have to recall this. What? Hey, that's mine! I don't care what the geniuses say. Damn it, I'm trying to create the future here. We are all trying to create the future. I'm part of the future now, too. I have sat with the Council of Geniuses, performed the Toron Ra, and I've even been to me. Mr. Jobs, you have done so much for the world. You have helped connect everyone to each other. Clearly, this is the future. But, but can't we just slow down and enjoy the present? Gerald, your son is a part of this centipede. His mouth is on the asshole of an Asian guy. How about we drop the speeches of how bright the future is gonna be and try to solve the situation here? A little longer? <sighs> not you know something? I agree. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, we'll get you separated, little boy. Guess you won't be eating Japanese food for a while, huh? <laughs> <laughs> some kind of sick prank i get the greatest mm. thing ever just have it taken away why did you do this to me god next time you're gonna get my hopes up could you please take me to a grease monkey because i like to get lubed up before i get huh some lube would be nice or at least a courtesy lick god how about a little courtesy lick next time you decide to f uh. me? <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Yes! Thank you! After all of my pain and suffering, after all the blood, sweat, and tears, thank you for doing this to me, South Park. Thank you for giving me a wholesome ending that I can actually appreciate and not feel uh, morally corrupt. This one was an amazing episode, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely going into my South Park classics list. I hate being gaslighted, but if this is done for a satirical purpose, then I don't mind. And you know, I thought to myself that Kyle having AIDS is the worst thing that has happened to that little Jewish boy. <sighs> I guess the moral of the story is uh, to read the agreements or Steve Jobs is gonna rise from the dead and do nasty things to your mouth. And also, thank God we had the payoff at the end with the Cartman's manipulation schemes being tarnished like that. That does feel rewarding. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Screen, guys. Am I good?